Hey, Coach, after that tie, uh, there's some holes in the defense that we thought that we saw. I mean, are you guys happy to come away with uh, one point, or, or what are your thoughts about the match? I don't think it was holes. I think I saw Derek Foran gifting the ball again, like I saw Mike DeFonte do, like I've seen Chris do, like I've seen Derek do at Portland. So individual error is one of the toughest things to, uh, to stamp out because Again tonight, that's the game we should have won. We're in total control. We um, we took a bit too long to work out um, matching up in the middle of the park, sort of first 15. And then we got to grips with the game, and we was in control of the game. Um, we scored a good goal, very good goal. Great ball from them, quality ball. Danny of all people in there. And then we we didn't do the basics. Okay, so as a professional footballer. And you can make a living, a real good long career for yourself through doing the basics wrong. And if you're a central midfielder, you track your runners, which Burrow didn't do. Okay, you track runners. If someone runs from the middle to, to the 18, you track them. They didn't do it, and it cost us. So then we're back into to, to 1-1, and then we do carbon copy of what we did the other night in the Open Cup. We gift the goal. So I'm not going to let them get away with it. No chance. I'm not going to brush it under the carpet and say it'll be okay next week because we've gone from being a very, very capable team uh, with the ball and without the ball to a team now really that's taking risks at the back, which we don't need to do. We absolutely don't need to do it. Okay, um, you're never going to score a goal every time going from your 18 to their 18 passing it. Sometimes you have to do the basics and clear your lines, especially when you've got someone like Jan up front. And we didn't do it. And um, I, I have to be pleased with the point. Um, I wasn't pleased with, with, with some of the calls, especially at the end. I thought it was a penalty on Kiffy. He's got the wrong side of the play out of way. It's, 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 it's a foul minimum outside. Um, sending off, Tricky Smith's not a dirty player. It's not, you know, when there's a stage in the game where the ball falls between, you know, you can't put your head on it, but it's there to be, to compete. And no one got hurt. It was, studs up for the ball and, it, and we have a player sent off so it was a real mixed bag for us tonight but I have to be uh, pleased that we were able to show character and, and get a point in a game we should have won. Yeah the uh, fresh legs you brought in late in the second half I thought that brought a lot of energy to the team Daniel Trickett-Smith, Adam John, some real positive offensive moves yeah. there as, as they came in and uh, I think the team was let down obviously going down 2-1. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you see there and uh, how do you feel that worked out in the second half? Well again when you don't see goals coming you know I felt that we was going to go on from, from, from the one goal lead and we, you know we gifted them a goal you know, we gifted them a goal and then we gifted them another goal and you find yourself 2-1 down um, Lucky enough for us, we did have the quality on the field to recover. And as you say, Yarn came on, he was a presence. That's what I expect from Adam Yarn. You know, Adam Yarn is, is, a, is, a, is an 18 yard box player. He's a hold up man. And he, he tried to get on the end of everything. Every ball that went in the box, he was on the end of. And then, you know, Trickett Smith, I asked him to, to make the difference. Um, and he did in both ways. You know? <laughs> so he scores a nice goal for me, but then he, he leaves the pitch. But, um, you know, he was competing. It was, it, the ball was there to be won. And it didn't need a red card. The game didn't warrant a red card anywhere. And so yeah, so we had to, we had to sort of dig in. But um, the two goals we got were very good goals. Um, it's two more to our tally. We've been unbeaten in the league now for quite a while, so that's a real plus for us. But it is a game. We, we, again, I uh, repeat myself, but it's a game we should have won. And, and uh, it'll certainly be back to basics, whether it's tomorrow morning or Monday. I haven't made my mind up yet. But I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to stand for for that type of play at the back line. We're not that good. No, no team in, in the world does that at the back. It takes that sort of risk. Um, I'm not gonna put it You were talking about players tracking um, people on the offense. Nobody was tracking Emmerich Calenta. He was making some great slashing uh, runs at the right flank. Yeah. Um, from our eyes, he was a really key player tonight. Yes. What were you thinking? Well, Emmerich tends to have good games against Galaxy 2. And it's, one of, it's, it's one of our strengths. I thought him and James, put good deliveries into the box tonight. Um, we fill the middle up, we fill the middle up with, with smart players, with players that can play quick. Um, we try and drag teams into the middle and we go on the outside. And what we've lacked for a bit of the season is that final ball. We've I've spoke to you guys about before that the final ball has, has let us down, but tonight it didn't. You know, we, it was a wonderful delivery. It was a great run from Barrera and also 
Trek at Smith. So we did we did get people in there. We looked dangerous. I felt we could come back. I did feel that we had enough character and our fans, again, I mean, I don't know any other team that has the support that, that we have. I, I don't know any other set of supporters that the first thing I'd done was look over when we two one down and I'm like, you know, I can't believe we're two one down and our fans just lift you. They lift me, they lift the players, um, and they didn't stop and they got their, their their rewards, you know, to see the two goals that end was great and we have some, it's loads to work on. There's, there's always a lot to work on but even more for me now because I'm you know, I think you know, we've won the trust of each other to be able to be honest in a, in a locker room. Um, and I, like I say, I, I, my standards are higher than that. The one thing that, that I brought to the club was a was a, a decent shout-out record. It, we were hard to break down. We're hard to beat. But at the moment, we're beating ourselves with with that side of play back. Anybody else? Thanks, coach. Thanks very much. All right. Thank, Thank you. Cheers. Thank you for the questions.